Welcome back to Sissy Maya. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. Additionally, consider subscribing to my Patreon to get access to these features, and much more. Daniel, a 25-year-old student from Vancouver, had always harbored a deep-seated passion for cross-dressing ever since his school days. His love for all things feminine, like miniskirts, long polished nails, and flowing hair, burned brightly within him. However, he never had the opportunity to fully indulge in his desires. It wasn't until he moved to college and secured his own room that he could finally begin to explore his cross-dressing fantasies. Late at night, he would secretly dress up in his dream outfits, reveling in the sensation of feeling like a beautiful woman. By morning, he would carefully pack everything away, ensuring his secret remained hidden. Daniel's next step was to experiment with makeup. He eagerly applied lipstick, mascara, and eyelashes, admiring the transformation in the mirror. With time and practice, he became more skilled at creating a passable female appearance as his alter ego, Diana. As Daniel delved deeper into his newfound identity as Diana, he yearned for the thrill of being seen in public. Despite the challenges, he began to explore social media, creating a separate account for Diana and posting her best-dressed photos. The attention and compliments she received fueled her excitement, and she found herself engaging with admirers, particularly one persistent man named Matthew. Matthew's relentless desire to meet in person both thrilled and terrified Diana. She longed to reveal her true identity but feared losing his interest. One fateful night, as they chatted, the temptation became too great. Diana shared a nearby address and prepared herself to meet Matthew secretly, planning to back out at the last minute. Dressed in pink thongs, a long shirt, wig, makeup, and heels, Diana hesitated as she watched Matthew's car pull up outside. She was torn between excitement and fear, unsure of how he would react to her true self. Summoning her courage, she finally confessed her identity as a crossdresser in a heartfelt message. The moments that followed were tense as Diana waited for Matthew's response. When his reply came, it shocked her to the core. Despite the revelation, Matthew's love for Diana remained unwavering. He professed his adoration for her true self, urging her to embrace her identity and join him outside. With her heart pounding, Diana made a life-changing decision. Stepping out of her apartment, she embraced her true self as Diana, ready to face the world and the man who had accepted her without hesitation. As Diana stepped out of her apartment, the cool night air wrapped around her like a comforting embrace. She could feel the weight of Matthew's gaze on her, a mix of anticipation and acceptance. With each step she took towards him, her confidence grew, her heels clicking on the pavement like a declaration of freedom. Matthew stood by his car, his eyes fixed on Diana as she approached. The streetlights cast a soft glow on her, highlighting the delicate curve of her jawline, the flutter of her eyelashes, and the subtle sway of her hips. She could see the flicker of desire in his eyes, a hunger that mirrored her own. Wow, Diana, Matthew breathed, his voice husky with emotion. You look absolutely stunning. A surge of warmth filled Diana's chest at his words, a rush of validation that she had longed for. She felt beautiful, desired, and accepted in a way she had never experienced before. As Matthew reached out to take her hand, she felt a spark of electricity between them, a connection that transcended words. Without a word, Matthew led Diana to his car, opening the door for her with a gallant gesture. As she settled into the passenger seat, she could feel the tension crackling between them, a palpable energy that promised so much more than words could convey. The engine roared to life, and they drove off into the night, the city lights blaring into a mesmerizing dance of colors. The drive was silent but charged with anticipation, the air thick with unspoken desires and unfulfilled fantasies. Diana stole glances at Matthew, admiring the strong lines of his jaw, the intensity in his eyes, and the subtle curve of his lips. She could sense his restraint, his struggle to maintain control in the face of overwhelming attraction. 
As they arrived at a secluded spot overlooking the city, Matthew parked the car and turned to face Diana. In the moonlight, his features were softened, his gaze tender and full of promise. Without a word, he reached out to cup her cheek, his touch gentle and reverent. Diana, he whispered, his voice a caress against her skin. I want you. All of you. Will you let me show you how much you mean to me? In that moment, Diana knew she had found someone who saw her for who she truly was, who accepted her without judgment or hesitation. With a silent nod, she surrendered to the intoxicating pull of desire, allowing herself to be enveloped in a world where her true self was celebrated and cherished. As Diana gazed into Matthew's eyes, she felt a wave of emotion wash over her. It was a mix of gratitude, acceptance, and a deep sense of belonging. In that moment, she knew she had found something special with him, a connection that transcended physical attraction and delved into the depths of their souls. Matthew's touch was tender yet firm as he leaned in to capture her lips in a soft, lingering kiss. It was a kiss filled with promise, with the unspoken vow of mutual understanding and respect. Diana melted into his embrace, her heart beating in sync with his, her body humming with anticipation. Their kiss deepened, becoming more urgent, more passionate. Diana felt a surge of desire course through her veins, igniting a fire that had long been dormant within her. Matthew's hands roamed her body, exploring every curve and dip with reverence and hunger. As they broke the kiss, their eyes met, and in that shared gaze, they found solace, understanding, and a love that transcended labels and expectations. They didn't need to say the words, their actions, their touch, their presence spoke volumes about the depth of their connection. Slowly, Matthew began to undress Diana, his movements deliberate and gentle. Each piece of clothing he removed was a symbol of trust, of vulnerability, of opening up to one another in the most intimate way possible. Diana felt exposed, yet liberated, as she stood before him in all her glory, unafraid and unapologetic. Naked and unguarded, they embraced, their bodies fitting together like two halves of a whole. The heat of their skin against each other sent shivers down Diana's spine, a tingling sensation that spoke of desire, of longing, of a hunger that only the other could satisfy. As they made love under the blanket of stars, their bodies moving in perfect harmony, they found a rhythm that echoed the beating of their hearts. Each thrust, each caress, each whispered word was a testament to the love they shared, a love that was pure, unconditional, and unbreakable. In the afterglow of their lovemaking, as they lay tangled in each other's arms, Diana felt a sense of peace wash over her. She knew that she had found her perfect match in Matthew, someone who saw her for who she truly was, who accepted her without reservation, and who loved her fiercely, just as she loved him. And in that moment, as they basked in the afterglow of their shared love, Diana knew that their journey together was just beginning. But one thing was certain, they had found perfect love in each other, a love that would stand the test of time and defy all odds.